Hello, my name is Adam Linder, and I work on the Big Fix team at HCL. Welcome to the first video in our ActionScript 101 series. Before we get started, if you scan the QR code at the bottom left of the screen, you'll be able to connect with me on LinkedIn. Over the course of this video series, we'll be taking a look at the building blocks of a Big Fix Fixlet. By the end of the series, you'll have the tools you need to create basic custom content in Big Fix, as well as some pointers to more advanced methods. So what is ActionScript? It's the language that Big Fix Fixlets are written in. It's not like a traditional programming language, though. ActionScript handles things like downloading payloads and running commands through the Big Fix agent. Think of it as the glue that turns a command line script into something Big Fix can perform. There are a handful of commands that make up just about every Fixlet. Prefetch, extract, and wait or run. We'll get to those in a bit. ActionScript also offers more advanced features, like running a command in the current logged on user's context or substituting in the output of a relevance clause on demand. We'll take a look at all of that as part of this series. I have a common business need I want to solve. I have two extremely cute cats, and I need to build a fixlet that prompts me for the name of one of them and sets my desktop background to a picture of the one that I choose. I'm going to build that fixlet over the course of these videos. For this video, we'll focus on the basics, prefetch, extract, wait versus run, folder create, and copy versus move. The first line of any fixlet with a download is typically the prefetch statement. The prefetch statement contains the information about the fixlet's download in a special syntax. Prefetch statements contain the name of the download, its SHA-1 hash, its size in bytes, its location, and its SHA-256 hash. The link on this slide will bring you to a utility that can generate prefetch statements for files hosted anywhere online. Processing downloads through a prefetch is a way to ensure you're getting the file you want. If a malicious actor changes the file at the URL you specified, the SHA hashes will no longer match and the download won't complete. Once your file has been downloaded, you may need to extract it. Fixlets built with the software distribution dashboards in the console compress their payloads as BEZ archive files. The extract command will extract a BEZ archive to the download folder. Files from elsewhere on the internet will not need to be extracted and will be downloaded straight to download. That folder lives inside of your BEZ data folder in a subfolder for the site you're running the action out of. Once you have your payload downloaded, you need to do something with it. That's where wait and run come in. Both of them are used to execute a command. The difference is that run does not wait for the previous command to finish before executing the next one, and wait does. There are other options like wait hidden and DOS, but they have more narrow use cases. The Big Fix developer site is a great place to go for information about advanced action script commands. A couple more useful commands before we jump into the demo. Move and copy are both ways to change file locations. You want to be careful which one you use, as move retains the permissions on the file, while copy inherits the ACLs of the destination folder. Remember that Big Fix runs as root, so if you aren't careful, move can get you into a situation where only root or local system can access the file you moved. The delete command is used to delete a file. Want to guess what the folder create and folder delete commands do? Folder create creates a folder if one doesn't already exist in the specified location, and folder delete can recursively delete the files and subfolders of a folder in one fell swoop. Let's take a look at all this in action and start building this important fixlet. I'm tired of looking at the default desktop background, so I've gotten a head start on building my fixlet. I uploaded a picture of one of my cats to my big fix server, which generated a prefetch. Let's look a little closer. The first part of a prefetch statement is the payload's name. Depending on how you uploaded it, sometimes the name will match its SHA-1 hash, and sometimes it'll be its actual name. Next, the SHA-1 hash, the size, the download URL, and the SHA-256 hash. There's a more advanced way to write prefetches, using a prefetch block. That's outside the scope of this video series, but if you're curious how they work, you can take a look at an example of one in the Firefox update fixlets in the Patches for Windows Applications sites. You may have noticed that some of the text in this fixlet is bright green. These are comments, which you can make by prepending your text with two forward slashes. I've tried to comment each step of the fixlet in this video series so you can see what each thing does. The second thing to do is extract the payload from its BEZ archive. By default, the extract command will put files in the underscore underscore download folder. Each site has a download folder. The payload will be extracted to the download folder belonging to the site the action is from. Once we run the action, I'll show that. 
Files in the download folder remain until the next time an action is run from that site, at which time they're cleared out. Since the download folder will be cleared out, we have to make sure our image lives somewhere persistent. I'll use c slash temp for the purposes of this demonstration. I'm not sure whether I already have that folder, but it doesn't matter. Folder create will create the folder if it doesn't exist and do nothing if it does. The remaining three lines demonstrate three file operations. The first copies the file out of download to c slash temp and renames it so we'll recognize it. The second uses the move command to rename the file while in the download directory. The final line gives the extract command an argument of the folder we want it to extract the bez archive to. This is the most efficient way in our case, but there are reasons you might want to use each of these three approaches. From here, I'll run the fixlet and we'll take a look at the resulting files. Got the log pulled up here so we can see when something happens and we can see we're already relevant for it. So I'm going to pull up the download folder. So we go to C, Program Files x86, Big Fix Enterprise, Bez Client, Bez Data, and I put this in a custom site called Cat Content. So if we go into the download folder, we'd expect there to be one image, which is the renamed file that we used the move command to rename. There's also the compressed Bez archive named here by its SHA-1 hash. Looking in C slash temp, we see the two images that we'd expect. Willow copy, which we used the copy command to move from the original extract, and just plain old willow.bmp, which we used the extract with the argument of C slash temp to put here. This isn't necessarily the most exciting stuff, but it lays the groundwork for the more interesting things we'll do in the next two videos. For now, enjoy this picture of my cat, and we'll continue in the next video. That's the first video of our ActionScript 101 series. In the next video, we'll take a look at the tools we need in order to actually set the desktop background, including override weight and create file. This slide has links to additional support resources. Thanks for watching.